Well, good morning, Sunday. Again, made it to Sunday. How y'all doing? Welcome to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Another day. Okay, so this is the before church shave. Yesterday didn't exactly work out the way it was supposed to. When I did the video yesterday morning, I was going to breakfast with some of the men from the church. And I got out of here, it was all cleaned up, we're starting to get dressed for that, and my phone rang, and Fuzzy's not real smart, so I answered the phone and ended up having to go to work yesterday, so I had to miss the breakfast with the men. But uh, anyway, working on a, uh, going to church shave this morning. So we're going to use uh, Clubman soap here from Pinald. Uh I've used it before, it's not the first time we've made a video with it. I do like the soap. It does not have the Clubman scent to it, which I think is kind of strange. But anyway, it's not an unpleasant scent. It's kind of a sweet, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. The smelling it make you tell better why you're, I, I've noticed everybody does that when they're talking about a soap. They want to stick it up and I do the same thing. But anyway, uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of a sweeter scent. I, I really don't know how to describe it. The soap itself and everything about it reminds me a lot of the uh, the Wilkerson sword uh, soap that I have. It's not like it's not a comparable scent, but the soap reminds me of that, and that's not a bad thing particularly. Uh, for an aftershave, we've got the Lustres Coachman, which is pretty much it's made by Pinald, and I've said before, and I'll say it again, I can't tell the difference between it. Oh, yeah, we the obligatory snip while we're talking about it. Uh, I can't tell the difference between it and Clubman, really. I don't know. It's got a fancier label, and maybe it's made to be sold at different places. I don't know. And uh, for a brush today, I'm going to break out the old Smog 1406. Now, this brush I've had a while. It's got these really crazy bristles on it. It's always been that way. And they work really well, but they sure are crazy looking. And uh, the paint is starting to chip off of it and stuff, but I still love this brush. So that's today's brush. And for a razor today, now I've shaved with these before, but uh, yesterday I did my the travel setup with the uh, the Jim G3, which is the 1912 with the Bake Light handle. It was in a little slide case and stuff. So to kind of continue the travel theme, I thought I'd open up one of these. This is a little pocket vest. I guess vest pocket type thing. I don't know, is that what they would call it? A little travel razor type thing. This particular one is uh, by Cosmo Manufacturing. It's a German built razor. And uh, they pack into this neat little case here. And when you take them out, it's a little four piece razor. You've got a, uh, you've got the, the handle where one piece goes into the other. And there's two pieces of the handle and then you got the, the two pieces of the head. These are open comb. A lot of them are open comb. And uh, I like that personally. So uh, the blade I'm going to use is a uh, Gillette uh, 7 o'clock. I can't remember which one it is. But it's one in the yellow box. And you got yellow, green, black, whatever. I prefer the one in the yellow. Pretty much a blade's a blade anyway. But I've always liked the yellow for some reason. And this is one that I had... Uh, had used the other day so I'll kind of try to finish it up Now, one thing I didn't do hold that thought real quick I know better than to not have my reading glasses around on these older style razors always be sure that when you put the blade in and tighten them down that you, you check the uh, the blade alignment because they do wiggle around some and uh, this one's never been real bad and it goes in pretty easy tighten everything down and you've got your little travel razor and uh, so there we go now question is does that little lightweight handle affect the shave Fuzzy's answer is no it does not I don't think handle weight and all that I don't think all that has a lot to do with the shave I think your technique makes up for any differences like that and you know you may think differently and that's okay too people like heavy handle razors and they go and have heavy handles made and it's like okay 
I've got the uh, the slant razor. It's got an extremely, extremely heavy handle on it. Does that help with the shave? I don't think so. I mean, it's a really nice, hefty razor. That's great. Uh, if you like a good, heavy, single-edge razor, the old uh, clock proofs. Uh, text message from my cub. All right, the old clock proofs are nice, heavy, micromatic open combs. You know, good heavy razors. Did it particularly help with the shave? I don't think so. Heavier razor, easier to no. I don't think so. It's blade doing the cutting. You know, you adjust your pressure pressure as you shave. So that's just my personal thoughts about it. I don't I don't think that has a lot to do with it. I don't particularly have a preference over light razors, heavy razors, whatever at all. Now, used to, I probably did. I haven't gone back and looked at old posts I've made and tried to sort it out, but probably used to. I probably felt different about it before my technique really developed as well as it is. I used to think prep was really important before a shave. And then um, as I rolled along, I came to realize that prep's not a bigger deal as people make it. Prep is more about tradition for a lot of people. And there are routines in how they do things, which is great. I think that's important to have. But it doesn't really matter that much if you're, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things. I don't really think it does. All right. The neat thing about this clubbing, one, it's not all that expensive. It lathers easily. It does have a pleasant scent. It's not the, uh, it's not the actual clubbing scent. I find that kind of puzzling, maybe, is a good word. But it's nice and slick and it lathers good and it's got a bunch of chemical names in the, uh, in the uh, ingredients list there but you know that's what you get look at that see they don't know that in the world already got that kind of mayonnaise looking consistency how do I know it's a mayonnaise consistency <laughs> I did a shave with mayonnaise one time as lather worked Alrighty, so here the Cosmo four piece pocket vest razor, travel razor, whatever you want to call it. Now, another kind of common myth that we're going to bang on a little bit it's an open cone razor, so it's got to be just overly, wildly aggressive, crazy, beastly razor. No, open cone does not at all translate simply to aggressive because it's an open cone. This razor actually has less blade feel to me than uh, some of my just olds. I've got a uh, several of the olds and have had different ones. And this razor just has a different feel. Well, that being said, it's got a very good feel. It's a very efficient razor. Well made. pressure using proper angle and pressure any razor is okay all razors shave about the same because all you're doing is running a blade along the skin and if you're doing that all at about the same angle blade gap doesn't cut hair blades cut hair somebody pointed that out the other day and I kind of told them I was going to steal that I kind of like it clean this and lift up a little bit. Alright. But give us another layer of lather on here. Easily done. There was a uh, 
a little while back on a toast. That's the original safety2.com if you haven't already heard that 16 million times. But uh, there was a deal about using a uh, open cone micromatic, which is definitely a uh, aggressive feeling razor, as an everyday razor. And absolutely, it's 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 uh, it's a great everyday razor. So one of our members was uh, out of the country for a while. And that's the razor he had with him. And he used the majority of his uh, time he was out of the country was an open comb micromatic. And he got really good shaves. The things are built like a tank. I mean, what else would you want in a, uh, you know, humid jungle type country? Solid brass razor. Worked out really well for him. So don't think because an eraser, a razor has the uh, reputation of, of being aggressive that it's not an everyday razor. I laugh at people all the time that want to make a big deal because they're shaving with a uh, an old style Gillette, which is a you know this is a clone of a, the Gillette old style head, and uh, they're looking for brownie points because they're they're shaving with a monster old you know well you know it's not really that big a deal folks it's just a razor hold the blade so that you can run it at an angle across your skin i probably annoy people with that but i annoy people with a lot of things because every chance i get you know i add it add in the conversation Pretty much razor to razor, blade to blade. There's little differences, not going to argue that point, but those little differences don't really matter that much. You have some double edged blades there, I understand, are a little wider, they had a little different coating, yada yada, whatever. Who cares? If a blade is not defective and a, and a razor is not defective, Pretty much a blade's a blade and a razor's a razor. <sighs> Alrighty. My little preaching for today before I even make it to church. Look at there. Nice shave, nice and smooth, everything cleaned off. We got our gonna have our normal clean up under our chin that we do. And that's what the witch hazel's for. If you prefer to do it other ways, that's great. Witch hazel works great. It gives you a little, a little help if you happen to get yourself a little razor burn going or anything along those lines. I think I can feel the where I need to touch up better when I use witch hazel. But that's you know, that's just a personal thing. So we're gonna come and clean up under there and come down over here. And a lot of times I make my cleanup fast. Pretty much another full pass anyway. But you know, I'm kind of a shave geek. I like to shave, so it gives me a chance to make another pass. Do some little buffing under here if you want. Gonna make sure we got that ear cleaned up. Now, and the most important thing for me is to make sure the bottom lip here is all nice and cleaned up, because if it's not, it'll drive me nuts. And that's pretty good right here sometimes I'll get myself a little weeper because I'll be trying to really work down in that crease right there on that big old honking chin I have area I have to be careful probably everybody's got those areas where they just got to be a little more careful about things alrighty feels like a pretty good shave now another thing about shaves get it a few minutes you get through and you wash your face off then you dry your face off and you're going to put your aftershave on and everything then you can judge your how good your actual shave was give it a couple of minutes there's no such things as pores opening and closing that's ridiculous at all but give it a few minutes and judge your shave i think that one did really good i've had some shaves that i thought were really 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 good when everything quieted down before it was over with i found out they were really 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 good and sometimes they weren't as good and 
I've had shaves that I didn't think went really well. Give them a few minutes and you notice, hey, that's just, uh, that's just not so bad at all. If you haven't tried Pinal Clubman or the, the Lustry Coachman here, if you want the fancier bottle, you should give it a whirl. Old style, traditional barbershop scent. It's just a plain old splash. There ain't nothing fancy about it. Smells great. Your face feels great. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You can do that old pep talk in the mirror thing. No, I don't do the pep talk in the mirror thing. But if you like doing the pep talk in the mirror thing, just knock yourself out with it. All right, well, we're coming up on 16 minutes of fuzzy pratting on, and that's probably enough. Little travel razors. You can pick these things up pretty cheap. I've got a few around here. I've gotten with lots of other razors that, uh, you know, I got some that don't have handles. I need to find handles and things and that kind of stuff. But uh, they're easy to pick up. They shave really well. They're a lot of fun. They pack well for travel. You may want to look into that sometime if you're looking for something good for a travel razor. Smog brushes, some of my favorite bores, even though this one's got that wild, that wild, uh, you know, bristle thing going on there. I don't know what, what, what that is. But anyway, that one's always been that way. The uh, Clubman, so final thoughts on the Clubman salt for the shade. I like it. It's uh, easy to lather, like this nice little uh, plastic tub. I can carry it with me. It's one that I could take on a cruise or a road trip or wherever I was going it packs easy and it's good to go the scent is not clubman scent it's got a sweeter scent to it but it's still pleasant it's not an unpleasant uh, uh, not an unpleasant scent at all so there we go hope you have a good Sunday I'm fixing to get dressed and I head out to church gonna have a great Sunday around here so we'll see y'all next time uh, for the folks that uh, with your videos, I am a little bit behind watching some videos, you know, Flash and and uh, Distorted Cheese, and uh, I think Ordinary Shavers got one that uh, that I'm behind on. Also, uh, people who are waiting on me to mail stuff out, I should get to the post office tomorrow. I know uh, Ordinary Shaver is waiting on a brush stand that I'm going to send him. And this will be going off to Bulgaria. I shaved with it the other day. I'm going to clean it up and get it mailed off. That's going out tomorrow. So if you're waiting on something, working on it. Honestly, I'll get it there. All right. Well, y'all have a great day again. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, you know, shaving with Fuzzy. And happy shaves to you.